Now, the Packers seem like they're moving on from Eddie Lacy, possibly. Green Bay Packers wide receiver Ty Montgomery is no more, at least at receiver. He's making the full-time switch to running back. He obviously played through that the whole uh, majority of the season. Uh, He led the team with 457 yards rushing on 77 carries, an average of 5.9 yards per carry. But it wasn't until week seven against the Chicago Bears, which also was his breakout game, uh, that he then became one of their main running backs as the running back depth just got depleted from injury to injury to injury. Uh, Or actually, it was week 15 against Chicago that he went off for 16 uh, carries, 162 yards. So, you know, he, apparently he talked during the, the player exit uh, interviews with head coach Mike McCarthy. He, he expressed the desire to remain at the running back. So if you have a Ty Montgomery number 88 jersey, look, hey, keep that. It's probably not going to be worth anything. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. You never know. He could become one of the elite running backs in the NFL, and maybe that jersey is worth something. So because of NFL rules, this season, it didn't matter because he was technically still a wide receiver just playing the running back position. So by NFL rules, though, once he makes that official switch to a running back, he has to switch his number from anywhere from the 20s through, I think you go through 49, something like that, or 20 to 45, 46, something like that. And that'll be his running back, running back number. So he won't be wearing 88 anymore. Not a big deal with most people. I, I kind of like to know what players what numbers are going to wear especially when i played madden back in the day i still play every now and then if you want them sticks just hit me up uh but um you know i would always like especially like rookies oh man i hope they're wearing the college number and i'll try to see what they would look like and uh put them in you know the franchise back in the days back in the days but anyways uh now his role is gonna be you know gonna be kind of different of course he's still gonna line up at receiver every now and then which gives the Packers an incredible amount of room with that offense to throw him in. They can trust him at wide receiver because that's what he plays. Uh, that's what he played. And they can also put him, obviously, at running back. That's going to be his main position. But the Packers have to decide whether to re-sign running back Eddie Lacy. Eddie Lacy started off the year very strong. He was le- leading the league with 5.1 yards per carry uh, through the first five games of the season. And then he got hurt. And then he was obviously put on, placed on IR. Rest of the season, he's out. And you start thinking, well, what's going to happen with him? He's a contract year. He's a free agent this year. Come March, he's a free agent. Do the Packers re-sign him? Or are they still worried? Apparently, he's still not fully recovered from his injury, from that ankle injury. So, and, I mean, they were worried about his weight. It was going up and down. It looked like this season got it back on, on track. And you have four and a half games uh, of him, of film, and how he was playing. Can he come back to that? And what if you re-sign him to what look would look like, you know, a three to five year deal? What if he comes back and his weight's, you know, out of control again, and he's not that same player you had just for four and a half games? And of course, he had he's had, he's had a, good, a pretty good track record. He's done pretty well. So what happens? Or do you just stick with, and maybe it's a cheaper option? And you stick with Ty Montgomery, and you just draft another running back late in the draft, which the running back draft, this running back class this season uh, in this draft is pretty good. You can get a fifth, sixth, seventh round running back that could be a third down type of back. Uh, I mean, look, just look at the Bears. They got Jonathan Howard pretty late. They also had Kadeem Carey, who was like a fifth rounder. Uh, They've there's some good talent in the running back class that will be pushed back. Uh, through you know the fourth, fifth, sixth round that the Packers can then go and get something to look at. I think Eddie Lacy will stay, uh, as long as he doesn't try to become a money grabber, which we'll talk about in just a second with Kirk Cousins. But I think it's going to be fine. But Ty Montgomery switching to running back is going to be unique and pretty fun to watch as a full time position now. <laughs> 